This is how you convert your trailer to drive on for just $99. First thing, we remove the old bow stop. Our first job is to remove the narrow old bow stop. It's usually easier to move the boat back a bit so we can get good access. With the boat out of the way, remove the one bolt that holds your existing bow stop in place. Your big V has a standard width of about 75 millimetres, which is three inches. It does, however, come complete with enough shims to space you out and to fit into a space four and a half inches which is 115 millimetres. So choose the appropriate shims, put them in place and slide your bolt through. Slide the bolt through then rotate your big V till it's approximately in the correct orientation to match the boat. Once you've done this you can tighten the nut up. Now bring the boat forward against the big V and this will set it in the correct position and square against the bow. With the big V set on the correct angle, it's now time to drill the hole for the secondary locking bolt. You have a choice of four holes. Choose the hole that best lines up with your mounting frame. In this case, it is the top one of the four holes. I'm going to drill through there. It can be easier if you have a spare shim to work out your location just by lining it up and then marking it with the drill. Okay, we have a mark, now we'll use a pilot drill. We'll drill that through with a small hole, drill it through the main drill, and then we can fit our bolt straight through there. Fit the bolt through from the inside out. This keeps the small head on the inside where the winch cable or winch strap needs to go. Tighten both nuts until they're super tight. Shorten the excess length off your bolts by using your hand saw or your power saw. Be sure to remove all burrs off the stem of the bolt and then touch up the bare metal with paint. You can use a spray can to quickly touch up the bare metal. And that is how you fit a big V. Check out bigv.com.au